we did a great job and we weren't treated fairly by the media because we really did a good job. I mean, one example, they had these beautiful soft towels, very good towels. And I came in and there was a crowd of a lot of people and they were screaming and they were loving everything. And we were, I was having fun. They were having fun. They said, throw them to me, throw them to me, Mr. President. And so I'm doing some of the, so the next day they said, oh, it was so disrespectful to the people. It was just a made up thing. And also when they had, when I walked in, the cheering was incredible. You were a they, rock star. I saw oh, the crazy. video of it. It was, it was so. crazy. The cheering was, it was deafening. Deafening. Uh, it's been nearly three weeks since Hurricane Maria decimated Puerto Rico. And the president's obsession from the start has been focused on himself, the reviews and the coverage of his disaster response, rather than the problems of the people of Puerto Rico. Here he was again on Sunday tweeting, nobody could have done what I've done for Puerto Rico with so little appreciation, so much work. But the facts on the ground remain these. 85% of the 3 million American citizens of Puerto Rico do not have power, and 40% do not have clean drinking water. The storm hit almost three weeks ago, and there are hundreds of thousands of people in America, in the richest country in the world, who do not have clean drinking water 19 days later. Yesterday, people from 30 miles, just 30 miles from San Juan, lined up on the side of the road to fetch water from a stream using a PVC pipe. NBC's Mar Mariana Atencio reported thousands lined up since at midnight on Saturday to get bags of ice in the morning, while Americans in rural towns like Comedio in central Puerto Rico plead for supplies. From the bottom of my heart, please help us, because we're dying here. It's a war zone. They need help here. Have you seen any sign of supplies coming this None, way? None, zero. Medicine? Nothing. There are lots of Americans suffering in Puerto Rico, and when it comes to the response, there is no A for effort. If the president is so obsessed with how people review his performance, his best bet is to actually deliver on their needs. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.